CBS News Miami's Gabrielle Arzola got an exclusive behind the scenes look at what active shooter training actually looks like. Shots being fired. Move. It's a textbook curriculum that has to be done flawlessly in just seconds. The City of Miami Police Department is one of three facilities in Miami that hosts the academy, and active shooter training is high on their list. So they opened up their training facility for us, and we exclusively got to see how they'd respond in the event of an active shooter. As a parent, I have a vested interest in really seeing the best law enforcement out there responding to these kinds of incidents. Major Eric Gonzalez is a trainer for Miami PD and has been in the department for 22 years. He says this training is always being updated. Go, go, go. Push, 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 push. Push in, push in. You can see when they get into this classroom. Good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two officers are inside looking for the shooter, and one is on guard outside in the event of a surprise attack. Every step, arm movement, and gaze is done with intention and purpose. Rifle first. Rifle first. Blue, go. This training is similar to the body cam video we saw out of Tennessee, where in less than three minutes, police were able to find and kill a school shooter. And experts say their heroic action was largely because of heavy duty training. But how often do officers get to do that training? And I can only speak to Miami PD. There's annual, annual training uh, for all our personnel. Do you think that annual training is enough? I think you can never have enough training. Uh, and that's our overall objective here was, um, you know, our officers need to serve the community day in and day out. But every chance we get, we want to provide them the training necessary to do the best job that they can. That's why in these trainings, each officer is graded and then given additional information on how to improve. Good job. Uh, number one thing, stop the, stop the killing. And they tell me they go through a multitude of other intensive simulations throughout the year. It's difficult to come to terms that this can happen at any moment. But this department says they're ready to respond. And even with the best law enforcement response, casualties occur. Um, so every time that happens, it's impactful to a community. And, and that's not something we always worry about. I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS News, Miami.